Hey everyone, so thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today I wanted to just get in front of the camera and talk about some of my current favorites. So um, some of them are old favorites, some of them are new, but yeah. So let's just dive right in. Um, <clears throat> so if you follow me on my Instagram, I talked about um, a couple of days ago, maybe yesterday, about uh, this perfume that I really loved back in 2007, around that time, that Bath & Body Works used to have called Blackberry Amber. And they have never brought it back, which makes me so sad because it was my signature scent. I bought bottle after bottle and used them up and everything. I still have a little bit left out of one of my bottles just so that I could keep it. And it still smells. Um, but I definitely don't use it. So I've been looking for a replacement and found an exact dupe from somethingspecial.com. So this is Blackberry Amber and she has got tons of different scents. It takes a few weeks for your stuff to come in, but it is well worth it. I think her prices are really good as well. Um, since I knew I loved this stuff, I went ahead and bought the biggest bottle that she had, but this is the Eau de Parfum Spray, and yeah, I'm super excited to be able to have my signature scent back, so love. It just takes me back, so I'm super, super happy to have that back. Another favorite that I have really been loving, this is the second tube of this that I've gotten. This is a different color, though. This is from Fresh. And it is the Sugar Lip Balms. Um, I had the rose one, but I got the Spice. I really like the color. It just gives you a nice hint of color. Um, this is like the only chapstick or lip balm that I've ever had that can I can put it on at night. And then the next day when I get up, I still feel it on my lips. My lips feel super, super hydrated. And it's not just... Um, you can't really feel that it's on. It's a very lightweight formula. It's very soft too. So you know how whenever you open up chapstick, you have to go over it a few times. You definitely don't have to do that with this. A little bit goes a long way. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but well, well worth it because um, you just get quite a bit. So, um, and I love their packaging. It comes in this really nice um, kind of a metal tube and it's a twist up so super happy to have another of these and I it takes me forever to go through them I've still got a ton left on my rose one um, but I really really just like this balm because it works great right now here where I live we're going through extremes of temperatures so earlier in the week it was like 70 degrees and then today it's like in the it's been in the 20s for the past few days so or it feels like it anyway <laughs> but um, it keeps my lips nice and hydrated and I love that the next favorite is um, something I know y'all have probably seen the videos on Facebook for these car charcoal um, teeth whitening things I'm not gonna open it because it's very very messy but I got one of them from uh, black diamond and it is a powder so what I will do is just open it up, run my toothbrush under the sink, get just like put it in there and then start brushing. And then once I'm done, then I'll go in with my toothpaste and brush over that. I haven't noticed any sensitivity, but I will warn you, it does turn your toothbrush black. So you might want to go ahead and just get the set or just get another toothbrush or else it's gonna turn black. The next thing on my list is this Biore Charcoal Cleansing Micellar Water. I've never really used micellar water before, but I kind of just use it to take my makeup off during the day, and I really just love the feel of it. It doesn't leave my skin feeling oily or anything like that, um, and it just really takes my makeup off very, very well, and it just feels really refreshing. Um, other than that, it's uh, formulated for oily skin, which I have typically always had, but um, just kind of as I've gotten older, I'm not experiencing quite as much oil. Of course, 
it's not summer yet either but um, I'm not noticing a lot of breakouts or anything like that anymore so I've gone a lot lighter with my makeup and everything like that um, another favorite that I did not grab is the NARS tinted moisturizer I've been using it and I really love it it's just tinted enough where it looks like I've got makeup on but it's very lightweight I just set it with a little bit of powder and good to go a little bit of concealer if I'm super red or if I've got some you know under eye bags or anything like that but I'm really really loving that and this now for planning favorites um, I've got a few things here uh, this is a new favorite this is hold on baby this is the Archer and Olive bullet journal um, it is a dot grid and look at the pages <laughs> you want to say hello, hello. <laughs> um, I did do this on pre-order and it came in a lot quicker I, I than I thought it would Mama. good girl um, yes just a minute baby so I got the moon face <laughs> one which is sold out somebody's being a diva I see you baby but it is 160 pages and this thing is thick it is very very thick because the pages are 160 GSM so if you are familiar with papers um, that's very heavyweight paper so it can take watercolor it can take things like that I haven't noticed any ghosting in my journal so far um, and I have put quite a bit of distress ink on it but you can't see it on the other side at all so that is awesome and like I said no ghosting whatsoever so this journal it is a little bit on the expensive side but well well worth it the pages are bright white you've got that nice dot grid on there and it is a gray so it's not super apparent it's not very distracting to the eye um, but I just I love this thing so far I'm so glad to be back in a bullet journal so your first page is the, this book belongs to and then it just goes right in you don't have a key page but you can totally create one for yourself um, I have found with other bullet journals that you do have a key page and I usually just cover those up and just get right to it because I don't really use these as a bullet journal is intended but I think that's something that's so great about these that they are so customizable and you can just do whatever you want to in them so I've been like sticking uh, craft paper down and just different things like that stickers all that fun stuff and I just I love being able to be creative with it again um, you've got a nice elastic band here and a pen loop and I just love the silver foiling on the edge of the pages it just makes it feel so luxurious and this journal definitely is luxurious it's got a nice cloth front and your little moon phase they've got different patterns and everything but this is wonderful I love it and the last few things that I'm going to talk about today are pins um, as y'all know, I am still using my Microns. Those are definitely my everyday pens. The uh, Micron number two. I just love the thin lines that it gives and everything like that. But I wanted to find some different colored pens um, that I could just use to kind of switch up and everything. Um, I have never used the Stabilos, but the Stabilo um, .88. This is a gray. And I'm really liking it so far. It's a nice fine tip and it's just a dark gray. It looks so nice in the pages. Just something a little bit different than just using black all the time. So really liking this. And then I've got two other pins here. Um, the Zebra Sarasa uh, 0.7. This is in the burgundy color. This pen is gorgeous. I love 
just the color that it gives. It does tend to skip a little bit, but once you go back over your line, it looks really crisp. Um, I may try to find the Micron version of these, but this is a great pen. Um, I've used Sarasas before and have really liked them, have had really good luck with them. So, and they come in tons of different colors. So I love that one. And then this Uniball Signo. I have the purple one. I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is the purple black. And then it has the 207 on the bottom of it. So um, I don't know if that really means anything. I'll try and find descriptions for or find links for everything and leave them in the description box down below, as always. Um, but I got two different colors, so I got the purple black and then a uh, blue black as well. And they are super dark, but you can still tell there's some color there. And I really like that because I I'm not one of those that uses a bunch of color in with my pens anymore. Um, I used to when I first started, but I just kind of have diverted away from that, and I just like to use you know a certain certain colors so this one's like a really deep eggplant purple and then the blue one that I have is like a really dark navy blue and then um, I had gotten another color in the Sarasa but I have not tried it yet um, doesn't have a color name but it is the navy blue one if you can even tell so yes but anyway like I said I will leave links for all these down below um, that is my current favorites right now. So what are some favorite things that you've been using here lately? Um, they can be planner related or they don't have to be. Absolutely. So, yes. That's all I can think of. But anyway, I know that I haven't been posting like I normally do. I try to do two videos a week, but things have been a little crazy. You know, I always... I always feel like I say that, but I do want to get on a uh, regular-ish filming schedule. So I will be having some different things coming in. I'm going to be doing a full uh, setup using this Archer and Olive journal, um, and I will probably try to film that. Um, I've got some of my supplies ready for that but just waiting on the last bit to come in. So anyway, me and the messy desk, we're gonna go. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you over here. And thank you again for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.